Welcome to the Western Indian Ocean Coral Bleaching Monitoring Service brought to you by GMS in Africa and Marine and Coastal Operations for Southern Africa Marco South Project in collaboration with Cordio East Africa. This service provides satellite derived temperature related information for countries all the way from Angola, round Southern Africa, all the way up to Kenya with particular focus on coral bleaching monitoring activities in the Western Indian Ocean. All satellite products are derived from the Operational Sea Surface Temperature and Ice Analysis or OSTIA system produced by the UK's National Meteorological Service. These data are daily gapped fault foundation sea surface temperature fields produced from a combination of satellite data and in situ observations. Products are provided at a spatial resolution of 0.05 degrees or approximately 5 to 6 kilometers. The temporal coverage provided on this site is daily from the 1st of January 2007 up to the previous day. For instance, today is the 24th of March and the date on the view is the 23rd of March. There are five different satellite products available on the site, in addition to a blank map. These products are produced using the methodology provided by NOAA Coral Reef Watch but just using a regional climatology in all the calculations. Each of these satellite products can be selected by clicking on the relevant icon on the left of the screen. The active satellite data product is displayed in the product viewer in the left hand panel. The data are overlaid on an open street maps view and you can pan and zoom in and out as you wish using your mouse or the buttons provided on the top left. Each layer has a legend that can be displayed by clicking on the down arrow. If you cannot see the entire legend, you can adjust the box or scroll up and down on the right hand side. Below the legend you can also see the value of any pixel by clicking on the colored areas of the map. At the top of the product viewing panel you can scroll through the dates by using the plus or minus one day buttons or you can select a specific date by using the date search button. You can also return to the current date by clicking on the date at the bottom of the calendar and then just subtracting one day from that. There are five different satellite products available on the service. There is the SST or the sea surface temperature, which shows the foundation temperature of the ocean at any given point. Next is the SST anomaly, which indicates the deviation of the daily temperature at any given point from the historical average. Blue to purple areas represent negative anomalies, which are colder than average, whereas the yellow to red areas show positive anomalies and are warmer than average. The hotspots provide an indication of the instantaneous thermal stress which can potentially lead to coral bleaching. Hotspots are calculated as the positive temperature deviations above the maximum of the monthly mean climatology. Research has shown that hotspots values above 1 degree Celsius can indicate thermal stress level which could lead to coral bleaching. These areas are represented by yellow or warmer colors. The degree heating weeks product shows the accumulation of this thermal stress for a given area over a period of 12 weeks. It is calculated by integrating all hotspots above 1 degree Celsius over the most recent 84 days. Lastly, there is the bleaching alert areas map, which provides an indication of the current potential risk level for bleaching based on a combination of the hotspots and degree heating weeks products. In these products, the orange provides a warning for where bleaching is possible. The red represents alert level 1 where bleaching is likely. And the dark red represents alert level 2 where mortalities are likely. Another feature on the page is the virtual stations on the right top panel. You can select a station from the drop down menu, which are grouped according to country. This provides you with the SST statistics for the past week. You can change the date range for the past month 
past six months or past 12 months. And you can hover over the graph to see the exact statistics for any date at any point in the graph. You can also use the toggle to show or hide the selected virtual station position on the map. You can also view in situ bleaching observations. These points can be displayed on the active map by using the toggle on the bottom right hand panel. At this point if nothing shows up please just go ahead and refresh the map again. If it looks too confusing with the map background you can also use the blank map to look at the in situ stations. For any of these points if you hover over the information it'll show you the date, the location and the status of the bleaching. If you would like more information on the in situ data point please follow the link in the in situ bleaching observations to the Cordio GIS tool. This will take you to an interactive website where you can see a detailed breakdown of the coral bleaching in situ observations within the past five years. Otherwise if you would like more detailed outlook on the current state of Indian Ocean coral bleaching please follow the link to the Cordio Bleaching Alert page. This will take you to a Cordio website where you will find the most recent coral bleaching alert as well as historical bleaching alerts.